basically what brings me here to Berlin is to study some of these uh, ethnic, religious, and linguistic minorities who formerly resided in the Middle East, but today find themselves increasingly taking up a new life in the diaspora. The Sabian or Mandean community of Iraq and Iran, this is a community that formerly lived in, along the border between the two countries at the very head of the Gulf, in the area known as the Marshes, uh, which has always been kind of a backwater, a place to which people would escape from persecution. Uh, and this community is unique in that it is the only surviving sect of Gnostics from the ancient Near East and indeed anywhere in the world. Uh, it practices its own religion. It's neither Christian nor Muslim nor Jewish, uh, but its history is deeply imbricated with the histories of all three of those groups. And as a consequence, studying this group can give us an insight into the histories of these three groups that we wouldn't have otherwise. Certainly not from looking at their own texts and very often not looking at outside sources as well. One of the main reasons I wanted to come to Germany is that Germany has emerged as one of the major recipients of refugees from the region, not only of the Middle East, but all around the world. And in particular, it is these uh, ethnic, religious, and linguistic minorities that have benefited most from Germany's fairly liberal asylum and refugee policies. They've never really had to accommodate themselves to life in the diaspora, so they're finding it very difficult to balance the demands of their new host societies with their own respect for their ancient tradition. And I'm hoping that it's precisely these aspects of their language, of their literature, of their history, of their folklore, that can inform this balance and help them forge a new life in the diaspora.